we go. We made it. We're over here. We're at the Frölundaberg. A little bit smaller arena, but still a good atmosphere. We got Finland, Slovakia. This kid, Helenius, I got to see in person. He's looked phenomenal out there. Slovakia, we all know about the Vorsky, St. Louis Blues, first rounder. Should be a good game. Let's go in. I'm on the draw. I think we're going to get overtime. So let's go have some fun. What a nice control breakout. Kill him 30 seconds. Oh, God. Oh, no! Minute 34 to go. Are you kidding me, Finland? Get it in the mixer. Get it in there right here. Oh, Let's just get it in there. Yeah! Yes! 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 Let's go! Easy, easy. Easy. What a start. What a start. There it is. Draw. Plus 390. How are you? Time to get out of here. We're rushing right over to Scandinavia. We got Canada check. It's 0 0. We're going to go over there and see Celebrini. Describe biz in one word. Drunk. Fun. Beauty. The oh, one word? Uh, funny guy. He's an icon. All right, long flight over here, right? Long flight. If there's one guy from Chicklets you could sit next to for the eight hour flight, who would it be and why? It's got to be Biz. It's got to be Biz if it wasn't you. Why, why, why Biz? He would talk my ear off the entire time, and I think he'd buy the beers too, so that would be great. I'm from Red Deer. Probably got the arm dog. We talked about the Mem Cop the entire time. Tell us the worst thing about Sweden right now. Oh, the worst thing about Sweden is beer prices. But uh, hockey is unreal. They have pretty girls, and uh, everything else is pretty fun. But beer prices are fucking ridiculous. What about what, what the fact they don't have 30 packs that you can just carry out? Yeah, 30, 30 packs are ideal. One handle, one case of beer. Here it's a fucking smorgasbord of. That's a Swedish thing, by the way. <laughs> a smorgasbord of carrying a multiple accounts. You got to rock a backpack on a beer run. It's unacceptable. Of course, you only buy 30 packs of Big Deal Brew. Yeah, 30 packs, Big Deal. Let's go. If I could only eat one thing from Sweden the rest of my life, what should it be? Uh, maybe the girls, yeah? <laughs> Whoa, I'm a married man. <laughs> quick change here, we got a quick change. So we're going Sweden? We're going Sweden. We're definitely going Sweden. Things change quick over here. Gotta have a team. Jan Sandy Pelka, father of Detroit Red Wings, first round draft pick, Axel Sandy Pelka. First question, how happy were you when he was drafted by Detroit Red Wings, Swedish team? Oh, that was tremendous. Uh, such an honor to be drafted by such a club. And also just to, to see uh, Iceman tell his name, it was like fantastic. Is there anything you would do or give advice to other hockey parents out there that you worked with him? We had a lot of this shot practicing back home and of course also we have worked a lot with mental things in in his game so like attitude just uh, go back focus on yourself and come back better last thing before i let you go who's gonna win the stanley cup this year who's gonna win the stanley cup oh it is it has to be detroit <laughs> oh, of course <laughs> all right this guy company man detroit all the way swedes they love their swedes so thank you for your time thank you Swedish Olympic goaltender national team. What do you think about this new women's pro league? I think it's really exciting. We watched the game uh, last night. they uh, probably watch uh, today when we come back from uh, these games. So uh, I think it's awesome. Really good for women's hockey. And myself, I have a daughter. She's half American, half Swedish. What team should I force her to play on, Sweden or US? That's what I normally ask my daughter. She says she's going to play for Sweden because she has to help them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good reason. I like that. What's one piece of advice you give to a guy like me with a daughter to, for hockey and girls? 
I mean, just have fun. Uh, don't treat them like babies. Be tough on them. I think uh, that's normally the big problem in Sweden. You treat them uh, like girls. Just to treat them like hockey players. Uh, make them uh, be tough on the ice and have fun. I like that. And before I let you go, I need to know who's going to win the SHL and who's going to win the Stanley Cup. Ah, uh, Frölunda, and I guess I have to say Toronto, even if they're not winning most of the time, but yeah, we're a Toronto fans. Oh, the Leafs, ooh, uh, good luck, good luck. Day two, World Juniors, semifinals, we have Sweden, Czech, 3 p.m. to start things off. Then we followed up by the U.S. Finland. Two tough games, two amazing games. It shouldn't, I, I think both might go to overtime. It's gonna be great. But before we do that, we gotta head over to Grace Sports Bar, EBR, meet and greet. We're heading over to Grace now and, and, and see what happens. Who's the best Swede all time in the NHL? Boris Salming. Oh, it's a good one. Have to go Peter Forsberg. Uh, I grew up in Colorado. It's Forsberg. It's Fapa. Absolutely, man. Matt Sundin. Uh, I got to go with my boy, Matt Sundin. My am Leaf fan, so I got to go with Matt Sundin. The old days, it has to be Boris Salming, but for me, I'd say Willie Nylander. Probably Forsberg. For me, it's Matt Sundin. Uh, I would say Nick Lidstrom. Boris Salming. Forsberg. My dad and business grandmother, brother and sister. Um, I've had a couple pops here. Do that one more time for me. My dad and the business grandmother, our brother and sister. Oh, wow, all right. He's a Tongue I'm a Tongue from Welland. You are the father. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Sweden so far? I gotta go to the woman. The lady is for sure. <laughs> the city looks beautiful here. Went for some beers last night with a couple of the guys, and let's just say there was uh, the, the Let's just say the ladies out the bar are looking pretty good. Oh, you know, too, kebab pizza. Oh, yes, yes, the best thing. The food. Well, I live here. I've been here 10 years. So my wife and my kids. The smart answer, this guy gets it. If there's one rule that you would teach other beer leaguers, what would it be? Well, beer for the bus. For sure. Beer for the dress room. By the Violent Gentleman Hockey Club. <laughs> and a free beer. And a free beer. <laughs> We heard you're a big Pittsburgh fan. Yes, I'm a Pittsburgh fan. Pittsburgh Penguins. What made you become a Pittsburgh Penguins fan? Me and my dad, always after school, we played a game in NHL 04. I always lose to him. But uh, then I actually took ra a random team. And it come to Pittsburgh. And I won my first game. Was Ryan Whitney ever on there? Did you ever use him? Yeah, he was on there. But then uh, it's actually become pretty good the the trade return for uh, Witzba with Kunitz. Was Paul Biznassi offered on there? Would you ever use him or was he always benched? Always played him in the AHL. <laughs> That's a smart GM decision by you. Do you know the only player to ever play, your Penguins guy, to play with Mario Lemieux, Sidney Crosby, and was coached by Wayne Gretzky? Yeah, me, Matt Murley. So, like, he's... As you probably benched me in the AHL in the video game too. And here's your chance to chirp Biz in English or Swedish. Go for it. Biz, nu får du fan ta och fixa till den här jävla näsa alltså. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right, that's a wrap on the EBR semifinal pregame party, World Juniors. Great, great turnout. Everybody was here. Ran into somebody that's related to Biz somehow, which was wild, but Chickless Nation. That spreads all over the globe. We had people from all over the world here saying hi, and uh, we're on our way over to the rink, and we'll come back with a new pick for the U.S. game. All right, Steiner, big win for the Swedes, big vibes around them. Does it remind you of the St. Louis Blues Stanley Cup champion vibes that you had? <laughs> I don't know. That's tough to, tough to compare, but uh, they got a good, uh, good mojo around the group. It's a great group. Uh, play with a lot of heart and a lot of passion, so it's been... Uh, been a lot of fun to work with them. And we're going to the gold medal game now. And if they made a new rule change and you could add one player for the finals, do you take Biz or Whip? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I think I'll go with Biz. It creates some energy. Okay, so it uh, goes to my next question. The infamous training camp in St. Louis with the two of them. Who was the bigger clown, Biz or Whip? I think it's a tie. <laughs> That's safe to say.
What brought you over here to World Juniors? I had nothing to do after New Year's Day, so I figured I'd come over and you know have a beer with the boys. If yeah, that flight sucks. Uh, if you have to sit next to Biz Witt or RA, who do you want to sit next to and why? I'm going to take Biz. Why? I want to see if I can take a shot at him. <laughs> nice. Nah, you're not going to win that one. Uh, no way. You've been to Sweden two weeks. Favorite thing about Sweden so far? The shopping. The food. Shopping. <laughs> the people. They're really nice. What do you think it is? We got a lot. We got a lot of those. There's no nines here. <laughs> uh, the meatballs, I'll say, because I'm married. Smart man. Smart, smart man. Yeah, this is Mike. He's the he's the head head fan of the entire team and everything. And who's this shirt all about? What's this? Drew S.A. Uh, he's my cousin. Yeah, New York Rangers draft pick. Yep. Uh, what position is he? Uh, defense. Defense. Yeah, good good player. I think he has one goal already in this World Juniors. Is there a chance he scores tonight? Uh, yes. What's been your favorite thing about being here in Sweden? He's awesome. You, uh, have you tried the food at all? What's the f best food here? Meatballs, salmon? Uh, nachos. <laughs> yeah, nachos. Yeah, good nachos here at O'Leary's. Thanks for coming on, buddy. <laughs> That's a wrap on the USA parents party before the game. They are all juiced up. We got all their score predictions. They're chanting. They're ready. They know they're completely outnumbered. They maybe have 50 people. The rest of the Scandinavian is going to be Swedish. Even if they're Canadian, they've gone Swedish. They understand they're an underdogs now, but they are the better team. Whitney's 4-2 score prediction is looking like the popular thing. I'm still on the draw. The U.S. brought me back a little bit, but I'm still the Swede. So let's go over the rink and find out. USA! USA! All right, we're here. Boots on the ground. World Junior Championship gold medal game. I mean, Civil War in the Murley family, Sweden, USA. It's going to be electric. We, we, we've been everywhere. We've been with the Swedes. We've been with the Americans. But we got to get inside now and check this out. It's going to be electric. What's the best thing about Sweden since you've been here? Oh, uh, probably I like the Swedish pancakes. Throw a little Nutella on that in the mornings. That's good. I like that. And it's a long flight home. If you had to pick Biz, Wit, or RA to sit next to for the nine hours, who would it be and why? Biz, because he'd probably talk my ear off about something and it'd be entertaining. Besides winning a gold medal, what's the best thing about Sweden? Oh, I mean, there could be plenty of answers for this, but, uh, ooh. I mean, a lot of good-looking people over here. Okay, I'll say that. Are you giving any credit to this win, to your training you did with Grinnell during the BC locker room tour? <laughs> I mean, he's been shooting me texts, just uh, making sure we're ready to go. So I think uh, I'll give him a little credit just in the shooting room. That's it. That's a wrap on the World Junior Tournament 2023-24 in Gothenburg. It finishes off with USA 6-2 win over Sweden. Swedes fought hard, little outmatched by the Americans. USA's best team probably ever. Amazing time, amazing fans, atmosphere. Couldn't ask for a better tournament. Unbelievable time. Can't wait to do it again next year.